Hi there, it's Mrs. Hosick. So I've received several suggestions on what to draw for you. And one suggestion that came in was to do a variety of bugs. So we will be doing a variety and you can use marker, pencil, crayon. I've done a bit of coloring on all of them. So um, the first thing I wanna do is we're gonna do fairly quickly with here and we're gonna do a bumblebee. So we're gonna make his eyes first. We're gonna do about six different bugs today. We're gonna do his eyes. They're all gonna have nice big googly eyes. We're gonna have them looking toward the center. Then we're going to make the circle behind his eyes for his head. And give him a nice big smile. You can color that in later, red or something else. You wanna give him some antennas. His body is kind of the bottom of a heart. So we're gonna come in here, here with a point. and he needs the stripes. And you can put them small or large, whatever you'd like to do. And then his wings. One, and I'm gonna do another line around, and two. Quick little bumblebee. These were a lot simpler than some of the other ones I've done, so some of the primary younger students can do these. Next thing I'm going to do is a ladybug. I'm gonna put the eyes about here, Again, nice big googly eyes. I'm gonna have it looking towards center. I'm gonna give some eyelashes, two or three. And then I'm gonna come across and I'm going to make a line here, a line here, and make a half circle for the face. Now, what I'm going to do, assert the ladybug is an oval, so you have to kind of think of that. But what I wanna do is gonna, the wings are gonna be open. So we're gonna come out here from this point, out like this, make a bit of a triangle like that, put a line across there for the back of the body, and then we're going to come around both sides and meet up with the face. So this little guy is just about to take off. Some circles on there, the spots that the ladybug has. And then our legs, they have six legs. They're gonna be like hockey sticks. One, two, three, or like L's actually. One, two, and three. And there's our ladybug. Next thing we're going to do is a spider. Again, we're gonna start with our googly eyes. And you can put them this direction. Let's have this one looking over here for now. And I'm gonna give a couple little eyebrows there. Now my circle for the head is going to start halfway down of my eyes and around. And I'm gonna give him a nice smile or her. This is more like a crown, like a, a thing like that. And then we have the body. We're gonna start a little bit lower here, come around, nice big fat body. All right, and now the legs. Spider has eight legs. We're gonna do them so it looks like they're going back. The first one I'm going to start is way down here. I'm gonna give it like a, a bit of a mountain peak like that on both sides. And then I'm going to come down both sides and I'm going to give them a little foot and I'm gonna come up underneath like that. Little foot underneath like that. Now the other feet are going to be behind. So what I'd like you to do, you're going to make a little mountain top here. That's two, three, and four. One, number two, three, and four. So what happens now is you can come down here and make the next foot. Next foot, follow behind like that. And this one, you might be able to see it, but I mean, I'm actually not even gonna put the back foot in on this one, okay? You could if you wanted to. Okay, come down here, you're following this foot, this line, comes through here, foot, and I'm not gonna put that one in. So you can actually tell 
there's a little bit of space there. I could do that. You can actually tell there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to give my little spiders some decoration. And there's our spider. Next thing we're going to do is a dragonfly. Again, googly eyes. I'm going to give a little space between my eyes this time. I'm going to have him looking up at my spider. My oval is going to start below my eyes. And this one's a little more ovalish rather than round. Meet up there. And ten eye. Then his body's going to be, oh, he needs to smile. His body's going to be long. And then another section of body. Like so. And I'm going to put some lines on there. And then he has two wings. So one, and this one comes behind. And it comes kind of right out of the neck part there. One and two. There's my dragonfly. The next thing is a grasshopper. Googly eyes. I'm going to leave a little distance between. This one's going to have eyelids like that. I'm going to maybe look towards center. You could have them looking up, wherever you like. Put your head there. His antennae are going to go both this direction. And make your circle. Nice big smiley face. Okay. And then this is where I actually want to use a pencil for a second because we want to erase something. We're going to make the body. It's like a banana. So you're going to come across here and make a banana up to a point and down from here. Nice and make a nice fat banana if you want. All right. And then I want you to make another line just about in center up through the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to go with my marker. I can make his back front foot right here. So I'm going to go down, make a triangle and come across. His other foot is going to go here, come down, make a triangle, and across. His back leg is going to start here. You're going to come up beyond the body, way down, and then you're going to give a little line right here to meet up with here, and we're going to give him a little funny foot there. The back leg right here is going to start here, go up, don't go across the body, come and do the other foot facing this direction. Okay, and now you can put the body in. So I'm going to not go over with my arm, not go over my leg, see that? Not go over my leg. Same thing. So now you have your grasshopper. And one last one. We're going to do a worm or a caterpillar, I guess, actually. So this, again, start with your eyes. Notice I kind of did them more uh, toward each other like that. Let's have him looking up at my grasshopper. I'm going to put a smile way across beyond my eyes like that because I want the head to be a little different. Instead of doing a circle, I'm going to come out, I'm going to go around my head like that, my smile, and then I'm going to go down and give him a chin. So a little different. And your antennae. And again, we're going to go with our pencil because we want to be able to put some feet in and we're going to have to erase some lines. So I'm going to start a big circle here, another circle behind, and you can do as many circles as you want. You can do five, six, 50. I don't care how many you do. And then before we do this, we're going to put his feet in. So his feet are going to go over the edge of your circle. They're like little triangles, but they're a little bit curved. And then I'm going to see one on this side too. You might see them over here as well a little bit. I can put those in. Just a little bit on the edge there. 
And now I can come and do my circle. But notice I'm not going over the leg. And you can decorate this. Maybe um, I'm going to do some ziggy zag lines here. So that's something you can color in. And maybe a straight one here. You could put with dots. You could decorate them however you want. Okay. Now I've got a few erasing lines I need to do. And here are some of the ones that I've colored before. Notice my grasshopper has two different greens and I did some different designs on my caterpillar. Notice how I've done a little shading darker. This one I actually use marker. I use different colors. I actually did put that back foot in. I use different colors of his legs. Okay. Have fun with these. These are so cute and I'd love to see them on Messenger, Facebook and Remind for my students. Bye-bye.